Image Playground is an app for both iOS and macOS. It uses AI to generate cartoon or sketch-like images based on descriptions, suggestions, or people and other photos saved in our photo library. So let's get started by entering a description here on the iPhone. I'll try huge pink and yellow birthday cake with 50 candles on top. Once entered, notice that the description sort of hovers near the image as it's created. Image Playground will create several versions of the request. Just swipe over to view the next, and as I come to the last one, it's going to automatically begin generating yet another version. It does a pretty good job creating the cake, but it can struggle with the candles. It never puts 50 individual candles on the cake. In some versions, it puts numerical candles on the cake, but gets the numbers wrong. This version with the 5 and the 0 on top is pretty good. Below the image, we can provide feedback for the beta. Thumbs up just lets Apple know that Image Playground did a good job with this version of the request. Tap thumbs down, and we can describe exactly what is wrong with the image and submit that to Apple to improve the AI. Tap the ellipsis button to copy, share, or save the image to our photo library. And tap done up here to save the selected image in Image Playground. Tap on the plus button here to create another image. This time let's start with a person. Here on Image Playground for Mac, I'm going to click the person button. The options we see here are being sourced from the People and Pets collection in the Apple Photos app. Alternatively, we can select the Appearance button, which will let us insert a sort of randomly generated image of a person. For this example, I'm going to use Tessa here in my Photos library. When a person is first selected, we'll need to choose a starting point. Basically, we have to select a picture of them that Image Playground will use to build the generated image of them. These can vary quite a bit based on the quality of the image being used, as well as the person's age within the original image. For Tessa, I'm going to choose this first option. Now I can click through as several versions are created. Down here, we can switch the style from animation to illustration. The illustration style looks more like it was drawn, and animation looks more like a 3D computer model. If this is all we want, just click Done to save it in Image Playground. Or we can click on the image, which will let us add to it. This is sort of like adding ingredients to a recipe. Down here in Suggestions, we can just click to add an item. So we can see Tessa as a farmer or a hiking farmer. Click the minus button to remove an item from the ingredients. Click Show More to browse through different categories of suggestions. So we could have Tessa hiking at sunset or at a sunset with fireworks. We can also add our own custom description to this. I'll enter on a bridge over a blue river. That gives us some decent options. Click on the description here, and we can change it from a blue river to a pink one. Results are certainly going to vary, but you can get really creative and try as many variations as you have time for. Back on the iPhone, let's tap the plus button here in the lower right. From here, we're able to choose any photo or take a photo to base an image off of. 
If I select this photo of a van in the desert, a pretty cool animated image is created. Unfortunately, we can't add a person, such as Tessa, into this image. I could add a lizard, though. I imagine that the ability to utilize multiple photos to create an image will come along eventually. Aside from being its own standalone app, Image Playground is built into the Messages app and Freeform, with more apps including it on the way like Pages and Keynote. So that's an overview of how to use the Image Playground app on your Apple devices. Next up, we'll look at how Genmoji works.